This is John Video 13. But I give you guys an update on the old Dakota. Haven't been really doing too much of it, uh, or doing too much of anything to it as of lately. I'm probably gonna do something starting the spring or so. I just do not know yet. The back window it's um, decked. The reason why is uh, <laughs> stupid me. I locked the keys in it one day and uh, broke the window to uh, get them out. So I gotta replace that window, which ironically is an easy window to replace, so I'm happy enough for that. Then buddy Aaron, he showed me, he says, oh, you can open them easy, how? Oh, well, let's just pull on that and put a Jim Slim in it or something, or Slim Jim, so it's a little unorthodox, but I guess. And then back taillight got busted because of uh, birdhouse there I had a leaning up against the shed there and it came down and hit the uh, tail light but whatever it's not the tires ain't flat it just sunk in the ground because right where it's sitting you see all that water and slush and ice and crap which it shouldn't be sitting there because of that uh, it was a tree sitting over there stump the inside of it just <laughs> whoa I almost slipped. The inside of it's universally the same as usual. Um, nothing has changed within that time. So, just like, yeah, nothing really. Taking a few things off of this dash. There we go. But, uh, Universally, like I said, there's really nothing that can't be fixed on this thing. I like that CB. Uh, I got it from an old friend that was a friend of my grandfather's. And he said that it was my grandfather's or something like that. It's one of those old weather, ba uh, weather bands or something like that. So I'm pretty proud to have it. I don't know if it still works, but it comes with all the wires. The back of the truck's all a bunch of stuff. Paint. I got guitar in here. There's leaves and crap all in here. And the window being open. Uh, <laughs> I like this, though. Buddy Aaron gave it to me. I thought it was great. But uh, I wanted to make a short clip for you guys of this truck because I haven't done anything as of lately with it. So thought I'd at least do a little thing here for you. But this is another thing too that you're going to like. I also had decided that I'm going to show you guys a couple clips of... Um, just one clip I did of me running it and checking the exhaust for where the exhaust leak is. And another one is of me checking the lights to see if all the lights work. I'll uh, show you guys that video, uh, those videos. They're off my Snapchat. Hope you guys enjoy them. I never thought to see if all the lights or anything work in this thing. Well, signals work. Fronts don't seem to come on. Unless I did it wrong. Yeah, there we go. Fronts come on. Those come on. How about the back? Oh, yeah. Backs come on and everything. That's awesome. Sweet. Trippy. Nice. Jesus. Yeah, this steering wheel is pissing me off that it's tilted like this.
I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. Sorry that they're kind of tilted, kind of like that, or however it turned out because the way I had my camera focused. Check this out. <laughs> you want to talk about body rust? How's that for a jinx? Ouch. This right here is what you call grade A tetanus. No kidding. Dodge really made these trucks the last, didn't they? <laughs> oh well. But the box is coming off of it, and I'm not looking to restore the box because it's already decked really bad. Cab corner too. This one's really bad at least. Can you see it? I can't tell. I'm holding my phone. But, uh, or I couldn't see the phone. So, yeah. Rather than that, universally, it is a good truck. It starts up every time. It's a four wheel drive. It was inexpensive for me, at least, to pick up, too. So, I was quite happy over that. Oh, well. Try not to slip here. Whoa. It's all slush, ice, snow. It's unfortunate that one of my fenders is going. Like, this is terrible. Look at this. Oh, wait, watch this. Look at that. Look at this. Up here, I bet you it's real nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, freaking Dodge. I thought Ford was bad. Chevy. All these vehicles are relatively harsh on their bodies, especially when you're in Canada. You endure salts and. Whoa, that's nasty. I'm not going to show that. Some animal had. Ooh, it's nasty. I'm not gonna show that. But, um, yeah, also, you guys probably, sorry if it was blurry there, but, um, I'm not even paying attention to the phone. I'm just rambling on and talking. But, uh, I don't like the nitrogen caps either. I can't find these damn rims online. Uh, Dodge sells the factory rims. Every single one for Dodge Dakota, well, Dodge Dakota, of course, the Dodge Durango, whatever the case may be, they feature all the other rims, but not these ones. I don't know what makes these rims so special, but I've only ever seen them on 2004 Dakotas. At least that's my observation. They could have been on others, too. But, uh,. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on my little rust bucket here, my Tonka toy. Anyways, this is John VDM13 signing off now. Take care.